Think about the way that hope arises in your life sometimes at the lowest moments, in the most unlikely places. Do you believe that Jesus is there with you? Do you believe it when life is at your darkest, that Jesus is there? I want to bring your attention to the cross. To the cross, when life was at its darkest for Jesus, what did he say? He said, Father, why have you forsaken me? Jesus experienced this hopelessness so that we would never have to experience hopelessness alone. Ever again, the author of hope experienced deep, dark hopelessness on the cross for each and every one of us, and that is the best news. That is such good news. And Paul says it's bearing fruit. It's bearing fruit in your life. It's bearing fruit in the people all around you. And so the question is, it's not, do you have hope? The question is, where is your hope? Or in whom is your hope? Because we all hope in something. 